and now we're gonna get our paint ready. So, if you're doing a red hood, the colors that you will need. So, red hood, of course, there's red. We got right here. This is Mephingen red. This is a very nice satin red. It's like, it's about this color. It's not exactly, but I also have a spray paint of that in, in that color. So, basically, that's what you're going to use for his hood and his face. Then, um, any silver depends on what you're using. Because if you're going to put black as a base, well, first you got to get your black. I'm using Abdon or Abaddon black. I don't know how to pronounce Warhammer 40,000 stuff. Um, because I'm using the black as a base, I'm going to use a layer for silver of Iron Breaker. And I need white. So this is a ceramite white. And finally, there we go. I don't know how to pronounce this. Oh, and one last thing. Remember, these are very small, so I'd give it some ag ag or shade. Just to give it its own shadow and stuff like that. So. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a small brush. I'll see if I can just find one around me. I should have been more prepared for this. But but anyway, um I do have my paint kit right next to me here, so um I'm gonna get ready and I will cut to when I'm all ready with painting. So welcome back. Um I just realized one extra thing. Um when looking at the Red Hood pictures, you can see that his bottom, like, leg armor is slightly blue. So I'm adding in this blue right here. I don't know what color that looks like. Macraj blue. So, what you're going to do first, I got an assortment of brushes. Just move all your paint off to the side. And first, we're going to grab a red. Um, do not reassemble these characters until you do a clear coat. So yeah, uh, shake up your paint, and now we're just going to do a bit of various different coats. First, we're going to take our red, do all of your first color first, and then move on. So you can see it's a lot lighter than it will actually end up. That's the color that it will be once it's done. So... Uh, just a second, here we go. It's okay if you get paint on your hands, it is, it is water paint, so, it's not water paint, but it will come off with water. Um, and Citadel dries pretty quickly, so I would suggest getting it done as fast as possible. Sorry, I'm out of frame here. There's nothing much to show, but just go paint your characters. Really what you're going to look for is if you're not like a prop maker or anything like that that does a lot of painting regularly, like painting of models, um, you'll really want to pay attention when I get to dry brushing because that will leave that metallic blue um, and silver. It will look like your paint is damaged and stuff like that. It, it, you'll really like it. Um, so, oh. Uh, I gotta switch to another brush. Now, I know you're told wash your brushes all the time. I am, but I do have a, a second to spare. So, there we go. One rough coat. Right there. Uh, done. Okay. Put your characters to the side. Start by putting him right there. Wash your brushes. Wash, wash any brush that won't be good for the next piece of scale. Now, the funny thing about Red Hood is it looks like um, the only next red piece is um, is just the lining on his coat. Now, you can do the uh, bat symbol. I did a very rough version. Um, but yeah, you can do the bat symbol. But other than that, that's pretty much the red done. So I'm just going to go in there with the red. And just paint onto the line. And the good thing about sculpting on to a higher area is that it means that you'll 
you have a raised canvas, meaning the paint will go better on there and you don't have to go with line work or anything. See, look at that. I just brushed that on top. Now the hard part will be down at the bottom. Um, now, I have a slight problem. I have no gray Citadel paint because I, I only got the starter kit and a couple extra paints. So I'm, because I'm not a, I do use Citadel a lot, but I just haven't used it. I, I haven't gone and bought it a lot because they can get pretty expensive. But I'm not knocking it in any way that it is fantastic paints and I'd, I, if I had all the money in the world, I'd buy every paint that they have. Well, actually, I'd, if I have paint in there, uh, that the, if I had all the money in the world, I'd buy the um, their their 167 paint kit, which is nine hundred dollars. So, um, I'm looking for an extra paintbrush. I'm really bad with keeping my paintbrushes clean, but they're mostly they're just old paintbrushes. I'm gonna find a new one and I'll cut. So I'm back. Um, this isn't quite right, but I can just paint over the whole thing with the gray. So, remember this is my first test and I just dropped it. Remember, first test, first video. Um, uh, it's coming out pretty nice. Yeah. So, mix it, take a look at your piece. Take a look at the original object and just judge how how much black does it look like is in this? How much white is in this? Okay, I need to put this amount in it. Just do that and it should be fine. It's like, because you're the artist. Because nothing can be exact. That's something I... I like to think about because like a lot of people that try so hard to make um, an Iron Man costume or something um, and you gotta think like I have to do this exactly but when you think about it if you're the artist if you created the original suit you can do it any way you want you can say oh yeah he's he's silver he's He's gold here, and he's red here. Um, and then other people, once it's popular, other people have to go at that. So you can see it's not matching the other pieces, but as long as it looks close. And close. So, I have that. Now, I believe the legs are dry, so we can move on to our dry brushing, which is my favorite part, because it makes stuff look so cool. Then we're going to put on our earth shade, and then we're going to spray paint it um, some clear coat onto it. Um, and I'm going to do that off camera because I think everyone knows how to spray paint clear coat or sealant or whatever you use for your thing. I'm probably going to spray paint and then put a layer on. So, let's move on to dry brushing. Some of you probably don't know what that is. Dry brushing is when you take most of the paint off of your brush. So just take some tissue or something, lay it out, take your paint, mix it up. I'm using the blue as my first. Um, and so basically the way you're gonna do this is basically we take most of the paint off. Oh, and also the thing about dry brushing, even if it looks like most of it off the brush, paint on some because it will look like most of it off the brush when it's not. So you want it so that when you just go over, it leaves a little bit of blue. And remember to do, to take more off with silver. So I did the same thing for Arkham Knight when I did his head, because you can see it's a blue HUD. Yeah, really, you're the only one who will notice this. 
Um, but I think that looks pretty sweet. You can't see it on here. I'll see if I can focus. But you can once you do it, you can see it will leave. It will go into the cracks and it will leave um, a blue highlight everywhere. But I'm gonna. I want mine to be more defined, more comic styled. So I'm just gonna take a little more and take a little less off my brush now. And go over it again. It's that simple. So yeah, you want it to be so when you go back and forth with the brush, that it just leaves a dusting of paint on there. I think I may have put too much on here, but that's okay, because we're going to dry brush black on and silver on. You can, you probably can't see that, but that's actually blue on there. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm using my iPad for this. I will get a better camera. Okay, so, I'm just going to do this one leg and do the rest on my own for the dry brushing. Um, and because the legs are two pieces, I'm just going to tell you how to do the rest. Okay, so, you've dry brushed your blue in there. It's good. We're going to take our silver and then our black. So, grab your silver. Shake it up. Take the paint. Take some off. So, you can see this is what the dry brushing was like onto my tissue. So, I'm going to do that same thing until it's just a dusting of silver, and you really want it to be light for this. So it looks like it's metal, but it's also not. That's way too much silver. You can see now it's shiny. So then, I'm gonna go over with my black. Yeah, just one layer of silver. That's all you need. You just need to define it a bit. Now we're going with our black. Shake it up. Take out the paint. Dry brush it. Another thing that looks very nice, um, Logan Fulyard, I think his name is on Flickr. Um, he does fantastic minifigures. Um, if you ever check out his stuff, you'll notice that if he has, ever has armor on his figures, what he does is he dry brushes other white or silver on. So then it gives it some definition. Okay, so now I'm dry brushing my black on. And if you ever do like a Warhammer 40,000, I'm doing it some of it this summer using my new techniques that I learned, it can end up looking really nice. You can see it's shiny, it's blue. You can't see it, I'm looking through the camera. But that's a basic idea. Now we're just going to move on to painting on our gold. And then that is the end of this series. Um, it was very fun. Tell me if I should do any more tutorials for big figs or anything like that. Because um, I am getting an order of two knockoff Hulk figures to do it with what I please. Oh, that's weird. Uh just gonna shake up my gold and just grab it paint on the gold it's that simple yep no techniques no tricks just do that take it off paint on your black so that was it for this series I'm gonna do one more video for this week you can be on prop making because I love these two hobbies painting and prop making very fun to do um so and it has something to do with this that's just a sneak preview I'll show you a better one in the final video um and it is related to Arkham Knight and I believe any Arkham Knight fans will like it so um that this was a good video, I believe. So, um, I'll see you next time. I'm Mr. Packham from Voltage Gaming. Like, or actually Voltage Extra. Oh. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe.